Alright, so this video is going to be um, in response to this person asking me how to um, download entire YouTube channels and playlists. So here's the entire comment that I wrote that YouTube was not letting me post for whatever reason. I don't know if it let me post it at first and then when I tried editing it, it no longer let me. Um, I think it does that sometimes when you edit the same comment like three times and then then it kind of just like shadow bans you from commenting or something. So like any comment I try making from that point on, it just doesn't go through. Um, I even tried making this comment and some other ones uh, on different accounts, which didn't work. So it was like, what the fuck? Anyways, um, so let me just read this off. I I'm gonna probably put this in the description too. Um, I also uploaded this to a pastebin link, which I might also include. So it says, alright, if you want to add me on Skype, by the way, my username is RedeemMP, so if you want to add me, uh, that's my username. Um, so that way I can explain this, and I can also give you pointers for other other commands and any questions you have, just you know, feel free to add me. Um, trying to save as much as I can, yeah, so I'm basically trying to save as much as I can from people who are probably going to get censored. Um, so if you want to be part of like a team or some shit, I'm down. Uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, to download YouTube DL, just look it up on Google or YouTube. I know that's not really uh, helpful to say, but it's really easy, I'm sure, to download. You just follow the instructions and it should be fine. Uh, I'm using Linux, so I believe the command is sudo apt-get install YouTube DL. You just type that into terminal. Um, so you just go to like cmd or terminal, and then you just type that in here, which would be sudo apt get install YouTube DL. But again, this is on Linux, and you're probably not running Linux, which I would recommend you do get Linux. And then you just type this in, it'll ask you to put in your password. Um, uh, I'm not sure what the command would be to download it on Windows would be. You might have to go to GitHub or something, just look it up. I believe on Linux, uh, not sure what other prerequisites you might need, like ffmpeg, in which case you could also likely download that easily with the same command, sudo apt get install ffmpeg. Uh, once you have it downloaded, you will need to generate a cookies.txt file, so it can use your browser cookies uh, to download content that is age-restricted. You can do this with a simple plugin on Chrome. There is uh, getcookies.txt, that's the name of the plugin. It is offered by Raul Shah. You can find it on the, uh, I think it's the Chrome App Store, whatever the Chrome Store. Uh, once you're logged in, you just click on the plugin and hit export, and it will export a file to your downloads folder called youtube.com uh, underscore cookies.txt. You just rename that to cookies.txt and put that in the folder where you want to download the videos. So let me just pause real quick. Alright, so here's how you get the cookies. So here's this extension right here. As you can see, it says getcookies.txt. You go ahead and click on that, and then you'll see it says export. You just hit export like this, and then as you can see, it will download the file called youtube.com underscore cookies.txt. And you just rename it. And here's the folder where I download all of Robert Morse's videos. Um, I do need to download his most uh, latest videos, which I might uh, have the opportunity to show you as I do that. So as you see, there's all the videos. Here's the cookies.txt file. Um, so you just put it in the folder again where you want it to download. And then this should be... Um, oh yeah, yeah I'll, I'll get to that later on. I was going to mention something else. Anyways, uh, this next command is the main command I use to download YouTube channels. My command for YouTube channels, um, remove playlist reverse for playlist. Anyways, so here's the command. Uh, I'm going to explain it. Uh, one by one. Um, so just the main thing you need to know here is uh, if you're downloading a playlist you remove this because uh, usually a playlist will be it's just the way the new videos are added. I'll explain it. Um, and then here's where you put the YouTube playlist or channel link goes here. Um, so you just put the link onto the YouTube channel where it says that. Uh, this will download the entire YouTube channel starting from the oldest video first. Um, it will number the video starting at 1. Um, write sub will write the subtitle file. Uh, write uh, the sub lang e en, that will write it in English. Uh, write auto sub will write automatically generated subtitles. 
Uh, I put both write sub and write auto sub in case subtitles were not uploaded by the uploader. It will then choose to download the automatically generated subtitles if they are available and as a secondary option. Let's just say as. All right. Uh, so basically, uh, I, I think uh, like uh, video uploaders, like the the person who owns the channel, they can upload their own subtitles to use somehow. I, I don't know. I've never done that. Um, but they're more accurate than the auto-generated ones generally, and so it'll by default it will do this one. But this is not available. It will try this one, and if neither are available, then it just won't download anything because it can't. Um, and then over here, this will write the description into a text file uh, that ends in the word dot description. So I can show you an example. Right, oh, okay, it's kind of laggy. Um, so here it is. See as it says dot description right there. I open this up with the text editor. Here's the description to his video where he puts all his timestamps. All right, so add metadata will input in the video file properties. Uh, in the video file properties, extra additional information like the uploader, upload date, description, etc. Um, let me see if I can show a quick example. Um, hold on. So if I open this here, and I, I forget what it was, uh, EXIF tool maybe? Um, 833, um, Alright, so here's the properties, let's see. Um, right, if I were to right click and hit properties, my uh, it would log me out for some reason. I haven't been able to fix that. Um, but I don't think this is, uh, this is it. This is something else. Uh, yeah, this might not be it. It's supposed to say the uploader name. It's supposed to say like the date it was uploaded. It actually does say that I think. I don't know. Or I don't know. If that's not the the date it was uploaded on YouTube. That's the date that I downloaded it. But anyways, all that information will be included when you put edit or add some. Uh, what was it? What was the command? Uh, add metadata. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, download archive archive.txt. This will create a file named archive.txt, which will store the ID to each video you've already downloaded. So if you ever stop downloading and resume in the future, it will just pick up from where it left off at rather than re-download everything. So if Robert Morse ever uploads new videos, you just run the same exact command without changing anything in it. will just pick up from where you left off at. So. Uh, I don't think I have an archive file here for some reason. Let me just do a quick search. Archive. Yeah, it's not here. Yeah, I think I deleted it, maybe. Um, in one sec. Alright, so, found it. Um, I, I have it named Robert Morse right here. Um, but you're going to want to name it archive. I'm just going to leave it with that name, though. Um, so if I open this up, you can see here's the IDs for all the videos I've ever downloaded from Robert Morse's channel. So it, not, it knows not to re-download these. And then um, I always generally uh, copy um, these into, like say for example, I want to start downloading videos from my favorites playlist. Um, so I would copy all this into the archive file that I would use uh, to download the videos from my favorites playlist. Um, that way, when I'm downloading my favorites, I don't... Uh, download Robert Morse videos that I already downloaded in a separate folder. Just a little tip, you know. Um, I, I just keep like one big archive file and I just keep using it whenever I go to download from different channels and playlists and stuff. That way I don't ever like uh, re-download the same video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so there's that. It's the download archive file. That'll prevent you from re-downloading the same videos. Um, that way it'll just pick up from where you left off at. Um, playlist reverse, this is very important to do when downloading an entire YouTube channel, especially for when you want to resume the download in the future after new videos are created. This way it will number the files in the right order, where the oldest file begins with a one and then ascends from oldest to newest. So if I go over here, you can see this is uh, the newest video. Well, this isn't the newest, newest. I still need to download his newest videos. But as I scroll up to uh, like number one, this is his very first video on his uh, YouTube channel. This is the first video, this is the second video, that's the third video, that's the fourth, and just numbers them all, you know? Um, and then it has the title and it has the YouTube ID, so you can all just copy that ID into the YouTube URL and you can automatically go to that video on YouTube. Alright, and then let's see, retries infinite. This command is like, I think kind of like useless almost, but I just put it in anyways. 
this is supposed to keep retrying infinitely if there are any errors or... Oh yeah, let me uh, finish this one. This one, so basically if you're downloading playlists, uh, you want to remove the playlist reverse. The reason for this is because um, it's kind of like uh, backwards, uh, the, the order that videos get added to the list on playlists when new videos are added to a playlist versus a YouTube channel. Um, so, like, on a YouTube channel, it'll be added to, uh, um, the very beginning. So, if you go to the YouTube, YouTube channel, at the very top of the list, um, of the YouTube videos on the YouTube channel will be the newest video. But on a playlist, generally, it's going to be at the very bottom. That's why you, um, you want to remove the playlist reverse if you're downloading a playlist. But if you're downloading a, from an entire channel, you want to keep this. Alright, so moving on, uh, this retries infinitely if there are any errors or issues, however I realize it just stops after 10 retries and you have to manually come back to the computer and rerun the command. This can get very annoying because it may stop running while you are away, asleep, or while you're doing something. In order to get it to retry infinitely, I create a separate shell file, a file ending in a .sh, uh, which I name loop.sh, <clears throat> and I use the command uh, chmod or change mod uh, on Linux uh, to change the permissions to make it executable. Um, I, f I forget what that would be on a Windows, probably like a batch file. You might not need to make that executable. Uh, it might automatically be executable. I forget what the uh, extension is on Windows. That might be .bat. Just looking at that, looking to how to make an infinite loop on B on batch files. I think it's very easy. I think it's just a I think it's as simple as doing this, hold on. It might be like this, like you put A, colon, and then you put go to A, or something. Just look that up, how to do an infinite loop. And then the command goes in the middle. Uh, so, close without saving. Um, I forget which command, yeah, so I forget which command it is to run both of these. Oh, okay, so I just run both of these commands. So I put uh, change mod 777 loop sh. Again, this is probably only necessary for Linux. Um, that basically gives you permission to read, write, and do everything. Um, and then change mod plus X, which stands for executable, uh, so that makes it executable. I think this might be the only command you need to run, uh, but I just do this one anyways. Uh, so I, you know, just in case this one doesn't work by itself. But I always run this one second, uh, just, in just in case this one overrides this one. So I do the 777 first and then do this one second. And then inside this file, you will create an infinite loop. Uh, like I just explained, and put the command in the loop. To run the file, you just type the command uh, periods forward slash or dot forward slash loop dot sh. This will this is what the code looks like. While true do and then uh, I don't know if you need the tab, but I tab anyways. And then I put YouTube DL. I just I just copy paste the entire thing here. And put done. And then this last part is very important, which I probably should have mentioned earlier. Uh, when you download a YouTube channel, if you just want the upload, if you just want the uploaded videos from the channel you are, that you are downloading from, and not all their individual playlists, the link you want to use will uh, end will end in something like this, and it'll look like this. Uh, it'll be forward slash. It'll be youtubecom slash c slash u uh, slash Robert Morse nd slash videos. So it'll end in videos. It'll be the YouTube name in videos. Uh, you get this link when you click on the YouTube channel name, uh, so when you go to their YouTube channel, in this case uh, Dr. Morse, and then you click on the videos uh, the videos tab, and then copy the URL in the address bar. Otherwise it will download all his playlists, I believe, if you just use the link that ends in this, and that's just the channel uh, link, so the link to get his channel, I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so say you click on his name right here. If you were to just use this link right here at the very top, that would download like his entire channel. It would download all his favorites. It will download any playlist he created, and you probably don't want that. And you, if you do want that, you probably want to separate that into different folders, or at least give it a different naming convention. Um, and so just don't do that. Uh, what you want to do is you want to click on videos, and then use this link right here. That's what you want. See Robert Morris ND videos. That way, it only downloads his videos in reverse order. And that's how you do that.